Yes, I am one Jira Mathai, and I work for the Green Belt Movement in Kenya, mainly doing international relations and fundraising, and now working with this wonderful network. And um, what does the Green Belt Movement do, and what does your work involve there? <coughs> well, the Green Belt Movement is a grassroots organization in Kenya that has been doing community development conservation work for the last 25 years, really inspiring communities and individuals to act to protect their immediate environment, realizing that the degradation of the environment is directly related to the basic problems they face, famine, drought, lack of food, lack of water, soil erosion. And in realizing those connections, there's been a great awareness raising and great protection of the immediate environment. Tree planting has been the main activity, and tree planting was a wonderful entry into communities because it was something they could do. They could see results essentially by contributing to a process that is now in 25 years, they're seeing forests, they're seeing shade, they're seeing beautiful environments, they're seeing food, surpluses in some cases. And so it's really reinforced. And so we're seeing an incredible awareness raising and a consciousness and an incredible amount of contribution to uh, tree planting and also just uh, cultural biodiversity, if you will, in the sense that people understand their connection and that their livelihoods and their, their livelihoods really depends on the success and survival of the environment. The Green Belt Movement really represents a, a friend of Gaia Foundation in many ways. We've been working with Gaia Foundation since they were started almost 20 years ago. And in essence, we have now come together as a, a network of associates who've been working with, with Gaia and to see how we can now move, given this new decade and commitment of commitment to the environment, what can we do to restore the enchantment, if you will, with, with uh, the natural world. And so it's unique for me because in many ways we represent different opportunities, different working environments. In the Greenbelt Movement we're focused on tree planting or in conservation, community development. And in other places there are different activities. But underlying all the work that we do are principles that are basically the same, that the environment is critical to our very survival and that we need to work to protect it. So these meetings have been wonderful in helping us hold our, each of our spaces, but also realize that together we represent a bigger voice calling for the same change. Uh, each of the nodes, in many ways, in my opinion, represent learning centers. They represent opportunities that have been going on for years where people have been working towards uh, the preservation and, and restoring dignity to, to the environment in many different ways, whether it's through Afri African cosmology, whether it's, it's through cultural biodiversity, whether it's through tree planting all coming towards the same conclusion that the environment is critical to survival. And so bringing us together and looking for ways in which we can create spaces for learning so that we can demonstrate, as we've been charged by the great Thomas Berry, that our great, the great responsibility for this generation will be to see how we can harmoniously move from a period of devastating the earth to a period of mutually beneficial living. And that we represent, I believe, the organizations that are here for this network. We represent a unique opportunity and a unique example for the rest of the world about how you can maintain sustainable living. And so the learning centers will be opportunities for le experiential learning where people can come and actually see in different ways how communities have for years lived in that mutually beneficial way.